Well, Pulitzer Prize winning photographer Cheryl Diaz Meyer is no stranger to big awards. But this longtime Prince George's resident says she was even a little shocked after sweeping the international category at the White House News Photographers Association Gala. CTV Sonia Srivastava had a chance to catch up with her at her home in University Park. On this beautiful summer day, Cheryl Diaz Mayer is enjoying a nice walk in her neighborhood here in University Park. The birds are chirping, a tranquil and calm atmosphere. This is completely the opposite of what she is used to dealing in her work life. Born to a Filipino mother and an American father, Diaz Mayer has lived all over the world. Her work on the Rohingya Muslim crisis won her a number of prestigious White House News Photographer Association awards. She basically swept the international category with her gut-wrenching pictures of refugees fleeing Myanmar. I've never done that before, so it was, was an that? enormous honor. Um, a shock. <laughs> the more than 700,000 Rohingyas are now in camps in Bangladesh after what many call an ethnic cleansing. The Rohingyas were brought as slaves by the British many generations ago to Myanmar, a majority Buddhist nation. In August 2017, tensions escalated after Rohingya separatist group attacked a military outpost. The Rohingya are probably the most persecuted people on earth. Oh my goodness, my goodness. It was, in all of my coverage, and other journalists have said this as well, I have never seen anything so pitiful. It was a sea of people just entering Bangladesh one after the other. They had been waiting on Myanmar shores for sometimes a period of two weeks. And people were arriving on those shores and there was very little food, there was very little water. They were, at some points, people who went to go search clean water were shot dead. They were drinking salt water. Women were, 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 were fainting and you could see there was absolute torment in these people's faces. She says the awards are great, but doesn't want these people to be forgotten. Let there be more light in dark places. Um, I, I, I really hope that because it is so dire. It's just so dire. In University Park, Sonia Shivasva for CTV News. And Diaz Mayor is not sure where her next assignment will be. Congrats to her.